Better than the city of you. Eight o'clock. Night has just begun. Oh God. <laughs> Whoopsie. Uh, cut this out. Cut this just out. Do some stuff, huh? Let's get some vibes going. Hello. Connected. <laughs> I need a different outfit. I I don't look good. Oh, I don't need to worry about my pants, do I? <laughs> as long as the top looks good. Oh yeah. Woo! Making good time. We got a got a little dinner cooking. That's what it's this actually. We got DiGiorno. It's not delivery. Because here's the thing. The the place where I go, right? The like the cafe on campus is so far away and the colder it gets the less i want to walk or even i have a long board over here i have i have to get everything for you all right fine my board say hello to my my sweet mother uh my <laughs> arguably that's worse because it's you know faster than walking, and and if it's super windy, then it's it's over for me. I got a new jacket. I brought one up from Thanksgiving. By the way, <laughs> Thanksgiving travel is crazy. Maybe I'll talk about that. Mmm. <laughs> I kind of burned it a little bit. That's okay. So now this is a, a, um, what do you call it when you, when you eat with, a, a, ch a chimble, chim, ch a, a mukbang? By the way, don't mind. This is how you know I'm getting lazy. I'm not using a plate. I'm using the box to hold the pizza along with plastic uh, fork and knife because I just don't care. I don't care. It's one of those nights. I just don't care. So how you doing? Good. Hope so. This is a good time to ask, because I, I, I want to know. I, I do want to know. Uh, oh, but I'm Wilson, by the way. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Just some guy in a room, college kid. Yeah, if you don't know me, my name's Wilson, but you can call me whatever you want. You can call me handsome, you can call me amazing, you can call me Uncle... Uncle Willie, if you want. You can call me... Uh, whenever you're free. Huh? <laughs> Thanksgiving itself was great. Is great. I, I love it because it, uh, it was such perfect timing too, because I'm in college, I'm a junior in college, I'm a film major, I do theater on the side. I was just in a show a couple weeks ago. It's always perfect timing because you're, you're in the show in the fall and once the show's over, you only have the next few days and then you have Thanksgiving break. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Be careful, the food's hot. Whatever you got, whatever you're eating, it's hot. Careful. I fly, by the way. I'm far enough away from home that I fly. If you don't know this, I'm assuming, I'm gonna assume you don't know who I am. I have a car here at college, and obviously, if I'm flying home, I can't take my car with me. <laughs> I wish. Wish I could just drive onto the plane and do do do. It'd be super easy then, but. And I can't keep my car on campus, because that's. A violation so I have to figure out this long-term parking process we find the lot we settle on this lot 5c I think it was and so I was like great 5c like an hour and a half from here it's it like a nice drive in the morning uh, pretty early flight and so I wasn't I didn't I don't mind getting up early for this stuff to travel drive goes great I get there I get to the airport it's one of those smaller airports it's not like a big happening airport it's a smaller one. I got the gate pulled up on my Google Maps thing, and I'm like, all right, this is it. Perfect. Pull into the gate, drive directly past the sign that clearly says employee parking only. I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, this gate is probably gonna open. Doesn't open. And luckily there are two, <laughs> two gates to enter and one gate to exit. I was so confused because I was sitting at this gate and I'm like, it's not opening. What do I do? And so I immediately started panicking because I only have so much time until my flight. I try to plan ahead, but I don't plan too much ahead. So I, I only have time to get through security and, and wait a little bit of time for my flight. So I don't plan too much ahead. Uh, so I'm already panicking. I, I'm calling my parents and all that. And so I'm sitting at this gate while all these cars come in from behind me one at a time and the gate next to me just opens for them easily to go in. 
and I know now that they're employees. God, I'm such an <laughs> idiot. And so they're just, doo -doo -doo, the gate's just opening for them, and I'm sitting there at the time, and I'm like, what do you do? What do, what do I have to do? I have to, is there a button? No, I called my mom first, and I was like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know, I don't know. And she was like, you gotta call your dad for this. He'll know more. There should be a thing where you press a button, you like, you press a button, and it gives you a ticket that you can hold on to. There was not that. There was just a little, a little box with a button on it with like a speaker and that's it. So, but that's important later. Finally, five minutes of waiting at this gate. I don't take a hint very easily, obviously. I'm sitting there at the gate for five minutes and the gate just opens in front of me. And I'm, I'm like, okay, did I need to, should I have pulled up more? Was it, what, what was it? What did I do? I didn't press the button. I didn't do any, I was just calling my mom and then the gate opened. And so I was like, oh great. <laughs> oh great, the gate must've been broken or something. So I'm gonna pull in and all of a sudden I see all these shuttle buses pulling out and pulling in and picking up people. So I'm like, great. I'm just gonna set my car here and I'm gonna, I called my dad before getting out. I was like, okay, I'm here, but the, the gate finally let me in. I think everything's fine. I'll call you back if not. Um, fun fact, if you couldn't tell already, I am not in the right lot. <laughs> Each shuttle bus has the text on the side that says employee shuttle only. And so I finally start taking the hint like, oh, maybe I'm not in the right place. So <laughs> how did I get out of the lot? Great question. I call my dad again. He's like, I, I found another lot. I sent you the, the, uh, the exact address. I get in my car and I drive to the exit gate. <laughs> which there's only one by the way. So I am like, I hope to God this opens immediately. And so I slowly inch up to the gate as close as I can, just in case there's a sensor that I'm missing. And you'd think that the exit gate would open for anyone because surely if you got into the lot on your own, the gate should assume that you are an employee. <laughs> The gate did not open. Waiting for this gate to open and I'm like, oh my God, this is the only gate. Shuttle buses are coming in and out. What if, what if a shuttle bus is starting, is sitting behind me and they're like people waiting for flights and, and they, I, could, I could make people be late for their flights by sitting at this gate and having it not work. And so I am, I am flipping out. I, I am, I am absolutely in full panic mode. All of a sudden I, I look over and just like the entrance gates had, the exit gate had this little gray box with a button that you could press and it had a speaker on it. So I figured this is probably the help desk. Maybe I can contact these people. So I roll my window down, I press the button, speaker comes on immediately. Like there's a woman that's like, hey, hi, how can I help you? And I'm like, dear God, <laughs> please, <laughs> I'm stuck. The gate will not open for me. I said to her, I'm like, hi, I'm in the employee lot and I'm trying to get out right now and the gate is not opening and she's like, how did you get into the lot? And I'm like, I don't know, I don't know. I waited five minutes like a stupid dum-dum and the gate just opened automatically and the lady's like, uh, uh, I don't know what to tell you. And I'm like, oh my God, what do, what do I do? What is happening? I'm gonna be late for my flight. I could make other people late for flights. Like so much is going on. All of a sudden, this truck comes out, like pulls up to the gate and sees that the gate is not opening. So either the lady called for the truck or the, this guy was just moseying around. <laughs> I don't know. And you'll see why I think that in a second. This guy gets out and he walks over to the gate. I, I tell him everything. I, I'm not an employee and all that. And he asks the same questions like, why are you in the lot? And I'm like, I don't know, dude, just help me get out. This is like a, 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 like a security guy, like pretty much. He had a full on security vehicle. Uh, pull up and he walked over to the gate. He looked like a security guy to me and I tell him everything and He's like, all right, all right, just give me a second He goes back to his truck and He pulls out a batch of keys and he walks back over to the gate and I'm like, thank goodness Finally, this can all be over and I can just go to my proper gate and not get a ticket or whatever, right? He pulls out his keys and he goes for the gate and one of them doesn't work and so he tries the next one that one doesn't work. He tries a third one. That one doesn't work. He takes up his little batch of keys and he looks at them. He takes a good long look at them. And then he just says to himself, ah, I don't have the key. Dude. Yeah, he doesn't have the key. And so me and him are just standing there with the same expressions on our faces. And so finally, as a last minute 
panicking resort, this guy walks over to the gate and pulls it up. Just sitting there like, what is that? This looks like, this looks like criminal. Like there's the two of us trying to get out of this stupid lot. So he pulls up the gate and he's like, see if your car can go under this. I have a pretty short car. I have a, I have a uh, Honda Accord. It's pretty short. Um, but he, he, he actually manages to pull the gate up enough to have me slowly slip under the gate and finally manage to get out. I, I'm in the clear, finally. Like that was, it was, to be fair, it was a total of like 10, 15 minutes that I was in that lot. So it really wasn't that big of a deal. I was so worried because it could have been. I could have been stuck there for so much longer. And luckily I was not. We all make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. And holiday travel is just terrible in general. So good luck <laughs> when uh, Christmas comes around. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I hope this was fun. I like this. I, li I like I like talking at you for a little bit. Farewell to you. Have a great night. Happy holidays. Mwah. All right. Bye. <laughs>